Assalamu alaikum everyone, yes I'm back with a new video. In today's video, I'm going to be featuring another al Bashawad product. I'm going to be doing a detailed review and demo of the fruit stamp kit. You see right here. So we have a lot to see and a lot to talk about, so let's get started. It is for 5 reals. So here is the fruit stamp kit. I got this from Bashawad, I already mentioned that. Now this is an early learning element, active thinking, sense learning, color distinguish. So as you can see, these kits are actually series. This one is the fruit stamp series. We also have the animal stamps, car stamps, cartoon stamps, and puzzle stamps. And I will open it for you right here. So this is what the kit has. It has two booklets. And they have also given us markers, which is blue, green, yellow, pink, and red. It has the stamps, and then something to put the stamps in. And then it has four ink pads. So here are the ink pads up close. We have red, green, yellow, and blue. You can mix the colors to get new colors. So at the back of the book are the names of the fruits. We have cherry, lemon, hami melon, this is a Chinese melon, peach, pomegranate, pomegranate, loquat, papaya, coconut, mangosteen, mm -mm, my absolute favorite fruit, grape, pineapple, kiwi fruit, pear, orange, durian, I never had a durian. Blueberry, blueberry, hmm, same debate. Banana, I mean banana, strawberry, mango, ugh, can't wait for mangoes. Watermelon, pitaya, also known as dragon fruit. Carambola, also known as star fruit. Tomatoes, apple. Now, I've also noticed that with the booklet, you have like a very blank page on the opposite side. So the purpose, the multifunctional part of this toy is that you can also color it. You can do the names. You can color this. You can also draw it opposite the fruit that you are studying about. So I love this toy. It's really amazing. Like it keeps on giving. Mangosteen. And I think like at the back, there are some like extra pages. And you have like two booklets. That's, that's very generous of them. They're like empty pages at the back. So you can uh, include fruits that are not given in this, you know, in this booklet. You can include the fruits there. Really multifunctional. Here is booklet number one, which is completed. That stamp I took from the back of this. Lukwat, I think it's Lukwat in Urdu as well. Papita, Tarbuz. I think dragon fruit is also dragon fruit in Urdu. Urdu maybe is ko star fruit hi kehte hain. Um, Mekha mein mangosteen ko bhi mangosteen hi kehte hain Urdu mein. Nariyal. Tomatoer, Nile Bear, Nashpati, Seb, Completed booklet number one. Booklet number two. Cherry in Urdu. I wish they also gave these. Karbuza, Limu, Aru, Peach, Ananas, Angur, Anar, Kiwi is also same uh, Kiwi in Urdu, Malta ya Pher Narangi, Durian ko bhi mekha mein Durian kehte Kela, Tooth Frangi 
Now these pages are empty. This is where you can stamp. Now there are countless ways to play with this particular educational item. It is simple concepts that inspire people to come up with their own twists. Now with everything that you see here, it, it really does encourage free play, creativity, imagination, learning, discovery, and much more. As you can see, the stampers themselves are made of plastic. They are of different shapes. Now the base shape is same, which is round, of course, to accommodate the rubber stamps. But the cute shapes on tops are four different kinds. We have a flower shape, a heart shape, diamond shape, circle shape. Now as you can see, the rubber stamps are really holding very well in the stamper itself. A lot of the rubber stamps were staying put in the stamper, but some of them were coming out. That's not an issue. It easily comes out and you can put in another one. The shapes on the stampers really give you a good grip so that you can easily stamp your design. Now let's see how the rubber stamps work with the ink pads given. Nice. Now as you can see, this is very unique rubber stamp kit. It will make learning fun for anyone involved. It's a STEM educational kit, I would say. You can spend so much quality time by stamping in the fruits, by naming the fruits, by writing facts about the fruits themselves. Now, it is very, very easy to use. You can easily stamp, decorate to make fun and exciting pictures. See how well it works. Now the ink is non-toxic, it is washable. If you're afraid that the stamps will be lost, don't worry, just take something which is sturdy plastic with a high quality zip and then you can just put in all your rubber stamps inside and you can take this on long trips and you can keep everyone busy. And I would say that this stamping craft kit it's easy, it's fun, it's entertaining, it's portable. So really good stamps, I mean, see? So I have the coconut stamp here. Just to get brown, I'm just gonna mix it a little bit of yellow, a little bit of red, and just stamp. And these wash off very easily. Here they are after cleaning. Now they are staining the stamp itself, but it's okay. You can still use it for next time. No worries. And another thing. Something to also notice is when the ink pad dries out. Don't worry, you can always use watercolors or acrylic paint. It does an awesome job. Uh, I, I would use watercolor as you can easily wash off the stamps after using. Uh, this is a watercolor, watercolor. You can also use acrylic, it's not a problem. I'll do a sample for you. In case everyone's like, ah, I'm skeptical. I, I'm a spectacle. I'll show you, okay. So let's choose a watercolor, I'll choose a dark one. So I'm using Prussian blue and where are the blueberries? The blueberry, blueberry. I can't find the blueberry. Oh, I think this was it. This was the blue, yeah, blueberry. This is blueberry. Okay, so let me put it in. I put a lot here. You can just use like a little bit. Okay, there it is. Now I'm gonna stamp it in. So I really like how this toy is very multifunctional. Here, like the names of the fruits are not given, so you can ask, tell me what is the name of this fruit. You're like, it's a pineapple. And I'll be like, okay, what's the name of this fruit? And they'll be like, that's a mango seed. And I'll be like, what's the name of this fruit? That's a pitaya or a dragon fruit. Really, really good. So everyone, if you really enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, press the bell icon so you're notified of any future videos that I might post, leave a constructive comment, and share this video. I know, it's a lot to do, but I hope you really appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for your support and encouragement. 
thanks for watching until next time Allah is bye Jazakallah khair, thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. If you want to watch similar videos, please check out the playlist right here. Check it out.